love my family. My husband works hard, and my children are the leaders of tomorrow. I'd do anything for them. But sometimes I find myself getting distracted by emotions I know I shouldn't feel. I'm only human. That's why I asked my physician if Peace Brand psychiatric medication was right for me. And when he said no, I bought it anyways. Toward the counter, Dr. Asshole. <laughs> Peace. If it's not legal in your state, you can order it online, motherfuckers. <laughs> Tell me what to do, goddamn fascist. <laughs> You watching me, watching you, watching Doctor. In Washington, the Congress of the North American Union has approved sweeping electoral reforms intended to combat widespread voter apathy. The singer Katy Perry is taking off all her clothes to boost voter turnout. Respected religious philosopher and international sex symbol Tom Cruise has declared his candidacy for president of the North American Union. For more details on this important breaking news story, let's go to Mr. Bunnykins. Thanks, Kelly. Dr. Cruz ended months of speculation by declaring his candidacy today. Although both major parties had offered him their nomination, he has decided to run as an independent and finance his own campaign. With the election only weeks away, I guess he better hop to it. Get it? Hop. <laughs> Who writes this garbage? Doctor. October 1962. President John F. Kennedy, already burdened with the threat of communism in Southeast Asia, is stunned when NASA cryptophysicists report a massive organic object on the edge of our solar system, drawn towards Earth by mysterious beacons. U-2 spy flights reveal the source of the threat. Unholy temples located in Fidel Castro's Cuba. Just what was Castro's game? On honeymoon in Paris, CIA director John McCone learns the horrifying truth. According to French intelligence, Cuba's dictator was in league with none other than Alistair, the Beast Crowley. An unholy alliance, all in the name of vengeance against Castro's sworn enemies, the freedom-loving people of the United States of America. Explained as a missile crisis in the public press, it was the decisiveness of Kennedy and his administration that put an end to the diabolical scheme. A full-arm carpet bombing sent Crowley into hiding and his minions to the grave. With the dark altars destroyed, the otherworldly monstrosity lost interest, and the leaders of the free world breathed a collective sigh of relief. Crowley and Castro wouldn't collaborate again until 1968, when Fidel commissioned the construction of the now infamous Meccano Castro. <laughs> this has been Revisions of the Past. Well, it's continental election time, and things are really heating up in the race to occupy the most powerful office in the North American Union. This campaign season has seen unprecedented diversity in the pool of candidates. We have women, African Americans, Mormons, coal miners, cyborgs, reptilians, and even old white people have thrown their hats into the ring. But of course, the front runner is still widely respected religious philosopher Tom Cruise. In an exclusive interview, Cruz compared the state of the continental government to a horrible automobile accident. Being a Scientologist, when you drive past an accident, it's not like anyone else. As you drive past, you know you have to do something about it because you know you're the only one that can really help. Cruz went on to demonstrate that he could balance the budget by standing on his hands for the next eight and a half minutes. And that's only the first wave he's unleashed which is why the story of Tom Cruise, Scientologist, has only just begun.